Mr. Ku Bunwi, President of Interpol. Mr. Julio Moto, Director of the Policia, Policia Nacional de Panama. Mr. Jose Raul Molino, Minister of Public Security, Panama. Mr. Jose Ayu Prado Canal, uh, Procurador General de la Nación. And Mrs. Gloria Moreno de Lopez, Director General, National Customs Authority of Panama. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the sixth annual law enforcement conference on intellectual property crime. It's especially rewarding to be here in this beautiful country of Panama and near one of the world's most important shipping and logistics centers, the Panama Canal Zone. Thank you to Interpol for your six years co-hosting this event. Your vision and courage to start the program in Niagara Falls, Canada in 2007 has created something that is very special and enduring, even if some people in the criminal arena may disagree. You've shown great leadership in facilitating global actions and have been a major catalyst for international initiatives designed to combat transnational organized piracy and counterfeiting crimes. You have helped set a standard for what we now consider effective IP crime enforcement. Mr. Ku's term as president of Interpol ends in early November, and I personally thank him for his dedicated service and his support for the IP Crime Conference during his tenure, and we wish him the best in his future endeavors. And personally, I envy him his opportunity to retire in Singapore, another of the most beautiful and amazing places in the world. Thank you to the Panamanian police for co-hosting this year's event which will, the, will be the biggest and the best yet. Hosting this event in Panama will help bring new perspectives to the challenges we face worldwide with counterfeiting and privacy, piracy crimes. Panama is vital in the fight against these crimes and perfectly positioned to support regional and global anti-counterfeiting campaigns. Thank you to the FBI for your continued and sustained support for the conference. You have been a great partner in providing translation services over the years and a dedicated ally in the fight against IP crime. And thank you to the many companies who sponsor this program. Some of you are publicly recognized and some of you prefer to work privately behind the scenes. But without each of you, this conference and our mutual work would be seriously diminished. Year after year, you assist us in raising critical funds that are required to host an event of this type. Without your financial assistance, we would not be able to fund this conference. I remain very impressed by your dedication to support law enforcement organizations around the world in the fight against IP crime. Please join me in thanking the sponsors, and please take the time this week to visit their exhibits next door in the exhibit hall. Most importantly, thank you, the more than 500 delegates from 56 or 60 countries, whose collective global expertise in this room will encourage the sharing of ideas and the development of new and breakthrough approaches to tackling piracy and counterfeit crimes now and in the future. UL is very proud and very humbled to be a part of this event. Our interest in the area of public safety has expanded over the years from electrical and fire safety to include medical products, food, and electronic payment security Along with the many products which are counterfeited, we also sometimes find counterfeit UL marks. Often the UL mark is the common denominator and the easiest to authenticate. This allows us to play a special role in the fight against fakes, and we take the responsibility with utmost seriousness and with a zero tolerance towards counterfeiters. We all know the serious nature of the growing problem of IP crime. It is there, after all, that common bond that has brought us here today. We also know that criminals are becoming ever better organized and connected, even to the point of forming their own transnational alliances. Like virtual, virtually every industry, crime has now also globalized. One important tool to counter this trend is for law enforcement to deepen its own global alliances and for industry to step forward more aggressively as a partner. That has been and will continue to be the legacy of this conference, the human networks the conference creates. To be sure, the speakers are always excellent. We say must see TV. And the workshop's invaluable. However, the value creation doesn't stop when the cocktail hour starts. 
The time you spend building personal alliances through informal chats, meals, and formal, meal, formal meetings, both public and private, create a value that is unique to this conference. Along with President Ku, I urge you to take best advantage of this opportunity. And please visit the International IP Crime Investigators College booth in the exhibit hall. Um, the IP Crime College is a leading edge online IP crime training facility, just two years old, but has trained nearly 800 IP crime investigators from 42 countries. The 14 core training mo modules will be available in Spanish and French this year, and Arabic and Mandarin next year. The college is a fantastic crime fighting tool, and I encourage everyone to take advantage of this great training opportunity. In addition to educating ourselves, there is important work to be done in educating consumers about the dangers of counterfeiting. To further these efforts, UL is working with the Walt Disney Company to produce an anti-counterfeiting educational program focusing on children and families to help raise awareness of the negative consequences of IP crime. In fact, representatives of Disney are with us this week and may seek out your, inf your information and guidance. This initiative is part of the award-winning Safety Smart program and empowers and educates children to make safety smart decisions. This program is now available in 17 languages. You'll hear more about this exciting initiative today, and I urge you to visit their booths to learn more. Personally, I've always believed UL is very fortunate to be part of this event. It's exciting to be a participant in a positive push for thought leadership and innovation geared toward advancing global safety. Each year, this conference has grown, bringing together more and more agencies, organizations, and enforcement experts who together share in the opportunity to take meaningful action and adapt to the shifting needs and priorities of combating IP crime. There's never been a greater focus on intellectual property crime. We're in a hard-fought battle with committed criminals. Just as criminals continue to change their methods, we must evolve as well. This is not a fight we can win on our own, and it requires close and ongoing collaboration between public and private sector partners. In the coming days, you'll hear from experts who are making real progress and finding real solutions to the unique challenges that face us all. I encourage you to take advantage of the operationally driven agenda, workshops and roundtables, soak in the knowledge and expertise of those in attendance, and share your own personal experiences and best practices with one another. Once again, thank you for your attendance and enthusiasm. Your contributions continue to make this the premier law enforcement event of the year. I look forward to meeting and speaking with you over the next few days. Welcome to Panama and have a successful conference. Thank you.